It has been nearly two decades since Milwaukee voted in a new mayor. That all changes come April 5th. One of the men vying for the mayoral post is former Alderman Bob Donovan. I had the chance to sit down with him to talk about his vision for the city and why he's stepping up to the plate once again after taking a step back. Oh, boy. Zeb's your unofficial campaign yeah, headquarters, it huh? Yes, yes. This isn't your first time. No, no. At this not at post, all. you did this uh, six years ago. So, yeah. what's different this time? Well, I think the big difference is just in what Milwaukee is going through. Quite frankly, um, 2016 Milwaukee is nowhere near what it is now in 2022. The extreme public safety challenges that the city is faced with, our fiscal challenges, you know, that back in 2016 they were not as pronounced as they are now. And both of those issues, I think, are whoever the next mayor is, is going to have to really deal with both of them, uh, uh, you know, immediately. You were on Common Council for 20 years. Yeah. What can you accomplish as mayor that you couldn't do in those 20 years on Common Council? Oh, a lot of things. First of all, the mayor sets the pace. The mayor uh, sets the agenda um, and the priorities for the city. Oftentimes, I would argue with Mayor Barrett as to, you know, what I felt should be the priorities were not his priorities. So the mayor sets the pace. That's number one. Second of all, the mayor has the clout to get things done. He sets the budget uh, very seldom that the budget is amended. Basically, what the mayor wants and is able to push through, uh, he gets. If you were to become mayor, what do you want? I want a safer city for all of Milwaukee. I want criminals to be held accountable for their crimes. I want great schools for our kids, all schools, public, private, charter. I want good jobs for this community, good family supporting jobs. Homicides were up 113% over last year. Car thefts up 130% over 2019. So how did we get here? I remember a city of Milwaukee, and born and raised here, a city of Milwaukee that was considered one of America's safest mm -hmm. big cities. Those days are long gone. I think we've seen a lot of things happen over the years. Uh, certainly we lost a lot of good paying blue collar uh, jobs that were able to support families. But in addition to that, quite frankly, I think we've seen in many instances a deterioration of our families, of what um, the virtues and the values that we're teaching our children. What do you think actually works when it comes to the day in and day out and helping to get kids back onto the right path, helping to improve those family units? Yeah, I strongly believe that our faith community will be critical towards improving the stability and the order and safety in our neighborhoods. So I would envision uh, our police department working hand in hand with our faith community to uh, patrol our neighborhoods, to do outreach to young people who might be on the verge. You're a very faith-filled man, right? If I'm not mistaken, you were considering going into the priesthood. Uh, well, yes. At, at one point. At one time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been retired for not even two years, yeah, technically. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to jump back in? Are you bored? It was, well, you know, I did a little twiddling of my thumbs and I thought, geez, I'm not ready to, you know, uh, move on. I, And then, of course, Mayor Barrett made that announcement that he was leaving and I turned to Kathy and I says, we've got to do this. You know, it's a huge challenge without a doubt. And I am definitely the underdog, but I will tell you this. Um, I just had to do this, and I uh, believe strongly that if given the opportunity, we can tackle these problems and get Milwaukee moving again. My interview with Bob Donovan went much longer than what you just saw there, nearly half an hour. And you can watch extended clips of our conversation by going to our website, fox6now.com. There you'll also find my one-on-one -on -one interview with Donovan's opponent that we had airing here on Fox 6 News at 9 last night, Acting Mayor Cavalier Johnson.